In this video, we're going to look at using the discriminant to solve problems involving circles. Let's just recap what the discriminant is. If we have a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. This determines the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. If b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then we have no real roots to the equation. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, we have equal or repeated roots. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, we have two distinct real roots. So let's look at a quadratic equation and we'll have x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to zero. Now, of course, I can go ahead and factor this and we've got x minus 5 all squared is equal to zero. So when we went ahead and graph that, we could see that we've got this repeated root of five. Alternatively, I could just write the discriminant. A is one, we've got B is minus 10, and C is going to be 25. So B squared minus four AC. So I'm going to have minus 10, which we need to square, minus four lots of A, which is one, multiplied by C. So 100 minus 100, we can see that's zero. And we knew that anyway. So let's go ahead now and just sketch this up. So what we have then is our parabola. We've got a point where it touches the x-axis. And that point is going to be 5, 0. Essentially now, the x-axis has become a tangent. It's just touching at this point, and that's 5, 0. So if we now consider the equation of a circle and now a straight line, we're going to have three different scenarios. And the three different scenarios are as follows. If we have a line that's not going to intersect the circle, then b squared minus 4ac is going to be less than zero. So this is b squared minus 4ac, and that is less than zero. So no real roots. The second scenario is that we have a tangent. We know that a tangent is going to touch at one point, and this is going to give us b squared minus 4ac is going to be equal to zero. So b squared minus 4ac will be equal to zero. We know that a tangent just touches, as we've seen in previous videos. The final situation is where we have two real roots. So our straight line will cross now at this point and this point, and we have b squared minus 4ac will be greater than zero. So what we're going to do is look at using the discriminant to solve a range of problems now with the equation of a circle. So let's start off. We're told the line with equation y equals x plus k is a tangent to the circle with equation x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 17 equals 0. What we need to do is find the two possible values of k. We now can substitute y is equal to x plus k into the equation and then take the discriminant. What I'm going to do though before I do that is just graph this up and show what's going on. We certainly wouldn't do this, but it just gives us some idea of the situation. So if I put this in the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared, then I can go ahead and graph the circle. So completing the square, I'm going to have x plus 3 all squared, and then we'll have minus 9, plus y minus 4 all squared minus 16 plus 17, and that's going to now be equal to 0. So this is going to give me minus 25 plus 17, which is minus 8. So we could write this now as x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared is going to be equal now to 8. So what we have is a circle, and we're going to have the center at minus 3, 4, and we're going to have the radius now of root 8, or it will be 2 root 2. So if I just draw a quick sketch, what we've got going on is a circle. So we can put our circle on. We have now the centre, and we'll put the centre. The centre is going to be minus 3, 4. So let's say that that's going to be somewhere here. Remember, this doesn't have to be hugely accurate. It just gives us some representation of what's going on. 2 root 2 is the radius, so we're going to have something that looks a bit like that. That's not brilliant, but it just gives us some idea. So what we have now is the following. We have two straight lines that could be tangents to now this particular um, circle. Now, these have a gradient of 1. We can see that these have got a gradient of 1. It's x plus k. So my first scenario is this. So this is a gradient of 1. 
The second scenario now is if I have a parallel line that looks something like so. So what we're going to do is look at using the discriminant to solve for the possible values of k. Now if we just consider that, that this is going to be 0, comma k, or this one is going to be 0, comma k. So we're just looking for these two points. So it touches here, and then we've got this point right here. So what we're going to do now is sub in y is equal to x plus k into now this equation. So what we're going to have then is x squared plus the quantity x plus k all squared plus 6x minus 8 lots of x plus k plus 17 is equal to 0. I think it's easier than substituting it into this part right here as it could get slightly messy. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to do it this way. So what we have then is x squared plus, expanding the brackets, x squared plus 2kx plus k squared plus 6x minus 8x minus 8k plus 17 is equal to 0. So let's now go ahead and collect terms in x squared. So we're going to have 2x squared. Let's now look at terms in x. Well, I can see here that I've got 2k, then I've got plus 6, then I've got minus 8. So I could write 2 out here. Let's write that, or we could just put it here. It's entirely up to us. So what we've got then is 2k, and then we've got minus 2. So that's going to now give me the terms in x. Then we're going to consider the constants. k squared is a constant, so we've got k squared. Then we have now minus 8k, then we have plus 17, and that's equal to 0. So what we've got now is a value of a, that's going to be equal to 2, a value of b, which is going to be equal to now 2 lots of k minus 1. Let's write this here. We could write this as 2k minus 1. And then we've got the value of c, which is going to be k squared minus 8k plus 17. So what we want to state now is for the tangent. So for tangent, and we would need to write this down, for tangent, b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and square this. So what we're going to do is square this. That's going to give me now 4, the quantity k minus 1 squared. That's b squared. Minus now 4, lots of a, which is going to be 2, multiplied now by c, which is going to be k squared minus 8k plus now 17, and that will be equal to 0. So at this stage, we can now divide both sides by 4. So if I do that, I can expand the brackets, k squared minus 2k plus 1. Then if we consider I've divided both sides by 4, so that's going to be minus 2k squared. Then we're going to get plus 16k. Then we're going to have now minus 34, and that's equal to 0. So now we're solving this quadratic in k. So what I'm going to do is take everything over to the right-hand side. So we've got now k squared minus 2k squared, so that's minus k squared, so we'll add that. Then we've got now minus 2k plus 16k, which is going to give me minus 14k. Then I've got now on here, that's going to give me minus, what have we got? We've got minus, um, in total here, that's going to give me minus 33 so we need to go ahead and add that to both sides. So that's going to be plus now 33. So if we look at this now, that's going to factor. So we're going to have, what's that going to be? K minus 11. And then we're going to have K minus 3. And that's going to be equal to 0. So we can say that K is going to be equal to 11. Or we've got now K is equal to 3. So all we've done is gone ahead and used the discriminant to find the possible values of k. So we can see what's going on here. That's k, so 0, 3, or 0, 11. OK, let's do another one. What else have we got? We're told the line with equation y equals mx is a tangent to the circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 16 y plus 72 equals 0. We're asked to find the two possible values of m. So this time, all we're doing is subbing in y is equal to mx. Again, if you want to get some understanding of what's going on here, we've got now this equation right here. This is a straight line that goes through the origin with a gradient of m. This is going to be a circle, and if we look at the circle, the centre of the circle is going to be 4 
8 and then of course we could work out the radius. But let's just go ahead and sub this in. So what we're going to have then is x squared plus y squared. Well that's going to be mx which we're going to square. Minus 8x and then we're going to have minus 16 and then we'll have y which is mx and then we'll have plus 72 and that will be equal to 0. So what we're going to have then is x squared plus m squared x squared minus 8x minus 16mx plus 72 is equal to 0. So let's look at terms in x squared. I've got now 1 plus m squared, or if we like, m squared plus 1. If we now look at terms now in x, what we've got, and I'm going to write it here, we could factor this if we like, or we could just go ahead and write it. So what I have is plus, and then we've got x, we'd have minus 8 minus 16m. And again, we can factor that if we wanted. This one, we've got plus 72, so we can go ahead and do that. And that will be equal to 0. So what we can say now for tangent, so just jotting this down, for tangent, b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and write this. I'm going to now write a. a is going to give us now m squared plus 1. If we consider b, I'm going to take out the minus, what are we going to have? Minus 8. So we're going to have minus 8, then we'll have 1 plus 2m, or 2m plus 1. So just checking that, I'm just factoring this. Then we're going to have c, and that's going to be equal to 72. So what we're going to have then is b squared minus 4ac. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I square this, I'm going to get 64. Then we're going to get 2m plus 1, which we need to square. That's b squared. If you want to show full workings, minus 8 squared, 2m plus 1, all squared. Minus 4 multiplied by m squared. That's the value of a plus 1 multiplied now by the 72. And that's going to be equal to... To zero. So what we've got here is a quadratic now and we're going to have to deal with this. Looking at that we should be able to divide through rather than expanding it out with the larger coefficients. So let's think what we can divide this by. I've got now in here 4 times by 72. Looking at this I think I can divide it by 32. So let's have a go at dividing it by 32. That's going to give me now 2 lots of 2m plus 1 all squared. Then we're going to have what I left with, that's 288, so that's going to be minus 9. Then we're going to have now m, uh, m squared plus 1, and that's going to be equal to 0. Now, of course, you don't need to do that, you can expand that out, or you can de keep dividing through. I'm kind of thinking that that looks pretty good in terms of dividing. Uh, we can divide both those by 32. So what we're going to get then is two lots of 4m squared, plus 4m plus 1. Then we'll have now minus 9m squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So we need to solve this quadratic. So what are we going to have? We're going to have 8m squared plus 8m plus 2 minus 9m squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So we'll set now this side equal to 0. So I'm going to have now, I've got minus m squared. So adding that to both sides, m squared minus 8m, and then we're going to have now, that's going to give me minus 7, so we're going to have now, what's that going to give me? Plus 7 is equal to 0. So we can factor this, what are we going to have? m minus 1, and then m minus 7 is equal to 0. So we can see that m is going to be equal to 1, or m is going to be equal now to 7. So essentially what we've got here now is the, uh, the gradient of the two possible gradients of this straight line. And again, if you wanted to sketch this up, you could go ahead and do that. So if we just look at the equation of this circle, we're going to have x minus 4, all squared, minus 16, plus. Then we're going to have y minus 8, all squared, and then we'll have minus 64, plus 72 is equal to 0. So what's that going to give me? That's going to give me now 80. What have we got? 80 there. So that's going to give me now 8. So what we've got then is x minus 4, uh, all squared, plus now y minus 8, 
all squared is going to be equal to, let's just check this, uh, that looks pretty good, that's going to be equal to 8. So essentially what we've got here is a circle. Let's just draw a quick sketch. This really will be a quick sketch. We've got 4, 8 and then we've got 2 root 2. So let's put uh, 4, 8, so let's say that's going to be just here, and then we've got 2 root 2. And again, this isn't very accurate, but hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. So what we have is this scenario. So we've got now two possible tangents to this. Remember, these go through the origin. That's going to be one of them, and that is now y is equal to 7x. So that was when m was going to be equal to 7. And then we have the other scenario right now, and that will be that one right there. And that's when y uh, is going to be equal to x. So what we've got then, we've got two different scenarios. So we can see these are going to touch just here and just here. So y is equal to 7x, so the value of m is 7, and y is going to be equal to x, so the value of 1. Um, so there we go, That's, uh, that gives us some idea of what that would look like. I'm hoping that my uh, quick mental maths has, has seen me right here. Um, hopefully, though, you understand what's going on. So using the discriminant to solve problems involving circles. If we've got a tangent, b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0, as we're going to be touching in one place.